So, um, I ruined it. I ruined it. I went, uh, I hadn't deleted the separate little clips and, um, so I went into Filmora again and I tried to do it and it said, file broken, try again. Well, it is not letting me. So, it will be the worst thing ever to have to put those little clips together with or do them individually. But she did a mighty fine job. And uh, we did another project, though, when we got the video of that one. And I'm not going to make the mistake of messing that one up. So, anyway, so much for my editing career. Gosh, when I woke, she left really early this morning. And she wants to get back home to Spanky's vet. Because evidently, he ate a big, long strip of towel. And, um, a few days ago. And it has not shown up. So, if he got a blockage after he ate all that wood and had to have that surgery, it would be awful. And she didn't want to go. We had some other stuff planned. We were going to drive down the coast. And um, we were going to try our hand at uh, making decorations with my uh, decorating stuff. So we had some things we wanted to do, y'all, and we didn't get to do them. Now, I still have a gift card for Starbucks. Where we're headed right now is so I can make a contact with my neighbors without homes. So I'm gonna cut this off, tell y'all, do something fun today, and please be safe. And I'm gonna start another video, and I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how I am going to go about this is such a tricky little thing right here. Okay, how I'm gonna go about um, starting up giving food to our neighbors. And ladies, I will never ever be able to thank y'all enough for all your help. Oh my, oh my. Ever since John, I'm going to turn y'all around. Ever since John left, things have gone downhill. And I knew they would. Look at that. Do you think, uh, hold on. I'm wondering. Um, do you think that that's a place that the police would not get calls on, I'd be calling on them. You do not have to live like that. Now, they've got all kinds of tarps and barriers up, and there's all kinds of stuff behind those barriers. Why? It, it never ceases to amaze me, y'all. And even when I was really young and we would drive through uh, maybe a not-so-nice part of town, I would always ask my mom, um, Mom, why is all that garbage in front of that house? And she was a kind woman. She said, Deborah Joy, everybody is not the same. She said, your aunts and I were taught by your grandmother that being poor 
is no excuse to live dirty. Everybody can buy a bar of soap. Um, so, you know, I, I was raised, y'all know this, with kind of fanatical, minimalist uh, women on my mother's side and on my biological dad's side and my stepdad's, uh, my grandmother and grandfather and their house and his brother. And I mean, I have been surrounded by cleanliness and neatness my whole life. And I know my grandmother and my mother and my aunts are turning in their grave and they are just beside themselves because I am not that way anymore. I'm clean. You will feel comfortable coming in and eating and you will feel comfortable coming in and bathing. But, uh, you know, I got a little clutter going on. But y'all, this breaks my heart. Why can't they understand? It's the same if you live in a van or an RV. Keep your dashboard clean. Do not be trashy in your passenger seat or the floorboard. You know, see what is common sense to me just is not to everybody. And I do understand because I've gotten this way myself a couple of times when I let my depression get bad um, that you stop caring. The worst it ever was is I would not get out of bed. I didn't want to see Sam. I didn't want to see my husband. I didn't even want to bathe. But luckily, I had an amazing husband who kept everything going, did research. He even joined a couple of support groups. And because of him, I am here today. And so I will always and forever be grateful to him because he saw me through that in a very gentle and loving way, even though I was a witch. So I kind of get it, y'all. But um, when I feel like that it is, uh, you know, virus, um, maybe not safe, but, you know, mask, gloves, I do want, John is gone. John was the anchor here, and he, all he could talk about, he had a little uh, settlement coming from an accident that he had had, and um, he said, as soon as I get that settlement, I'm going to Oregon to be with my daughter, and she owns a little restaurant there. He showed me pictures of it. I even talked to his daughter for a couple minutes, but anyway, y'all, when you lose the backbone, we'll say, to a community, it just, I don't know, it just goes downhill. You've got to have at least one motivated person, and they lost that person. So, anyway, y'all, what I'm here for is to make a connection with a person, maybe Jake, and let them know that I would like to provide them with food with the donations from this wonderful community. I see a... a a, um, what the heck, igloo, you know, cooler over there, and so they could get a package of turkey meat or bologna, um, you know, uh, they could have a little bit of, you know, something cold, and, um, what I would do is when I bring food, which I'm hoping to do twice a week, um, is to bring them a bag of ice 
as well. So, and ice is important to them for another reason, y'all. Um, they get warm drinks or whatever, you know, and we all know how much nicer it is for them to be cold. And I'm going to take the bottled water that I have and I'm going to put it somehow in my freezer. And that way, when I bring the water, at least it'll be frozen, it will start melting, and it will be something cold and cool to drink. So, y'all, that's all we can do right now. So, I'm going to sit here because somebody will notice me. And I see a mess. See through the fence over there on that electrical box? That mess over there. I'm going to put some gloves on and a mask. And I'm going to grab a garbage bag out of here. And I'm going to go pick it up. Now... The last thing I want to say is uh, about the way that I'm going to do the food is once I get a contact person, I'm going to tell them I'm going to make up individual. Oh, that little squirrel, he's just running up the hill. Don't go on the freeway, sweetie. No, no, no. Oh, that kills me. But there he goes. He's not listening to me at all. Maybe he won't. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, my word. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. You know, the least little thing distracts me. But I'll make up individual lunch bags and um, put them in a plastic garbage bag. I got some smaller ones. And not only will they... Uh, and then I can just hang it on the fence I don't have to have any close contact with anybody hey little birdie a mean person would honk their horn and scare that little bird to death and I would want to smack them but anyway so you see there is a way to do it and you know what I am so ashamed of myself that I stopped. People were ridiculing me and accusing me of spreading the virus and not caring and you know that it, anybody that really knows me knows that is so not true. That is so not me. But you know what? I'm not going to let anybody sway me ever again. So that's it y'all. And so, I'll park here for a little bit. I'll wander over to, um, there's an opening um, in the gate back there in the fence. If you can see that underneath the, uh, not underneath the sign, but where that yellow barrier is. So, I can just um, go over there and pick up that trash right quick. And, um... Trust me, I don't mind doing it at all. Not at all. I had a blast over here with John cleaning up these camps. When I step up, I'm going to see if there's anything or anybody in the second encampment. Y'all, I know you think this is just crazy out of my mind. But if I had a decent tent, I've got cots. And blankets. I've got every. I've got a potty. I've got a cooler. Thank you, Anne, with an E. You know, I would love to come over here and spend a couple of nights. Y'all don't freak out, okay? But these people enjoy being able to sit down and talk one-on-one -on -one about their experiences, how this happened to them. Now, I talked to some people before, and they absolutely had no plan of leaving the lifestyle. Some of them talked about it. Some of them didn't. So, um, and working with the homeless like I have throughout the years, 
that is not uncommon. People get social security or disability checks and they don't wanna have any responsibilities. They wanna buy their alcohol and they wanna buy their drugs and uh, but that's what happens when you're an alcoholic and you are a drug addict, which y'all know almost every person in my family, well, I don't mean my like aunts and uncles, but siblings, parents, step parents. Um, you know, I grew up with it. I grew up with it. I know what the signs are. I know about all the lies and the I'm going to tell you what you want to hear crap so I can get what I want. I know all about that. So anyway, y'all, I just step out in faith and I do what I feel like I am supposed to be doing. And like I said, I am so ashamed that I stopped. Because there is a way. I mean, really, talk about social distancing. Do y'all you figure out how far that is from me? I mean, that, there's, uh, on the other side of the bushes, there's that big concrete culvert. When it rains, it goes way up, waist deep. And here's a pretty sight. Now, if I was homeless, I would be guarding that little roll of toilet paper. Oh, that's something else I can add to my um, stuff in the van. Y'all are crooked. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry, y'all. My little um, magnet up here is um, not as strong as it used to be. But anyway, I know I said what I was gonna quit and Mango was telling me that some expert was telling her that, you know, uh, five minute videos are, that should be the max. How on earth am I gonna do that? I'll have to start a video, set, you know, set my timer for five minutes and when it ding dings, I'm gonna have to say, see you later. I have a lot more videos. I love y'all so much. And I appreciate you so much. And I want to acknowledge all you ladies, but nobody has told me it's okay. <clears throat> Except Renee, because she said in the comments that she's sending me a box which she has done before. But Renee, you can tell me what you want me to get, and which I always do. If somebody says, get this, that's exactly what I'm gonna get. And um, don't waste your money on postage, sweetie. Are you married to the postmaster somewhere? Do you get a discount? Shut up, Deborah Joy. I love y'all. Do something fun, and please be Thanks. Nice.